Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system from the user Faris Own in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending their system in. And their system is called The Last Wandering System, so without further ado, let's see what they have prepared for us here. So that's an interesting name, so hopefully it's something about like the last system in the universe or something. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what they prepared for us here, right. Okay, welcome to the last wandering system. Wanda. Wanda was a red dwarf that has been dying out to the white dwarf stage. The star is over 500 trillion years old. Oh, ho, ho. okay, so it's definitely is a. Yeah, look, if we look in the background, there is pretty much no other stars out there. So you can see there's a few objects here. We'll have to see what that's all about. Okay, so, anyways, let's head to the star. So here's Wanda here. Okay, let's put orbits on so we can see. Okay, so, star on its way to a white dwarf. Not very large, not very bright. I mean, the zone is, yeah, it's going to be pretty dim stuff. Okay, so first of the planets, Wanda Energy Collector. So, okay, we've got a probe here. It's facing the star, okay. Looking cool. Okay, so first of the planets, we have got Surfer. So that's this one here. A hot desert planet, which is rich in gold and carbon. No species hasn't touched this planet. Uh, sulfur was once a gas giant, but when the star or the planet got close to the star, it got shrinked to a rocky planet, so it lost all of its material. Oh, okay. So remember, this star would have been bigger at one point because it is a now becoming like a white dwarf sort of phase after becoming a red dwarf for a very long time. So there we are. Okay, so the next planet out. Oh, hang on. We should have one called Hades. Where's that? There it is. Okay, so we're heading to this one first. I don't know if this one here is even noted, but we'll quickly just check it out. So it looks like a uh, Venus-like object. Thick atmosphere. 219. It's not as hot as Venus. Uh, it contains a lot of water, though. If we look underneath, okay. So it's all going to be uh, evaporated. So, yeah, you're looking at the water in the atmosphere there. Okay. But, yeah, no description for that planet there. Okay, next up we got Hades. It's a hell planet. It contains... Uh, oh, it's covered with lava and contains diamonds worth over a hundred quadrillion dollars. So, like 55 can cry -y, the diamond planet. It'll crash the diamond market if you brought those home. Okay, so, there we are. Moving on, next up we got Rolly. It's a super hot oceanic world that does not harbor life but has extremophile bacteria in it. Okay, so if we look here, minus 30 degrees out here now because we are sort of um, in the greener zone of the Hattable zone now. Okay. Look, we'll look underneath. So very ocean heavy, quite a dark coloured ocean. Interesting stuff there. Okay. Next up we have got the Limo. It's a hatable super earth that contains everything for life. It has species more smart than humans, but the planet is slowly dying out because of the star. Ah, that's a shame, yeah. Okay, so if we look here. Quite a nice big constant. Got some city lights going on here. There's a big, big load of lights there as well. Okay. Looking good. So now taking a bit of a jump, we are going to loan. It's an icy gas giant. It has a lot of water, such as methane, nephane. Um, its formations is still unknown, and it rains tiny pieces of glass. And it has two moons named Halo and Crystal. It's quite a nice gas giant, or ice giant as well. Um... I don't see any moons though. Two moons. I do not see the moons. Interesting. Okay. Right now, so we're taking a big jump out. So next planet out, we got Fighter. It's named because it has protected Limo from asteroid collisions. Just like Jupiter protecting Earth from asteroids. Fighter is also known as the guardian of this glorious system. Okay. Oh, so it's a one-banded gas giant, as you can see. That's actually a gas giant. I thought it was a rocky planet of a thick atmosphere at first, but yeah, it's just a one-banded gas giant. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Uh, moving on, we have got Leon. It's an icy gas giant. It has a lot... Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Oh, Leon. Okay, hang on. Did I get that mixed up with um, one of the other gas giants from earlier then? I think I missed it. Hang on. Let me just quickly... So where is it? We went to... Oh, Lone. Oh, okay. So, no, this one didn't have a description either. We... L-O-N-E. Lone. But then we also have... 
Leon over there. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. They're indifferent. Okay, so no, never mind. No, we did read the right one. So we did. We just did fighter. So now we're looking for wagon. Where is... Okay, so what else are we going further? Out? Okay, I see. Okay. So they're in the wrong order, I think. So here is this one. So wagon has nothing but hides you with a small amount of water. It doesn't always have for any moons, but has a species named Nemesis that flies and travels through different dimensions at the speed of light and discovers uh, better prey to stop their hunger. Nemesis is also known as the Guardian of the Galaxy. Eh? Guardians of the Galaxy. Cool. Okay, next up we got Noma, which is this orange one here. Okay. Let's run out for Gas World. It's a weird planet that uh, Limo planet a species discovered. The gas giant in the year 8390. This gas giant looks super friendly but inside is full of toxic gases that later discovered a black hole inside the gas giant feeding it. Norma's orbit is also weird because of the wagon's gravitational pull. Okay next up we got Leon. So that was the one uh, further inwards again so where's that? It was like the yellow one wasn't it? Uh, where are we? There he is. Cool. It's said to be the first known gas giant in this system. Since the birth of this red dwarf, this is uh, that is now a white dwarf. Leon is over 300 trillion years old. Leon has no toxic gases like Norma. Okay, very nice. Okay, so now we're heading to Genesis. Where is that? There it is. Genesis is an ancient dwarf planet that has been here for eons without a single touch, rich in argon, iron, and water. So very, very old there. Okay. So next up, we've got Aqua. It's just like Pluto, it is made up of silica and by the furthest planet in the system. Under the thick sheet of ice there is liquid water with life in it. Okay, so a very desolate, distant object there. You can see the luminosity is very dim there, not receiving much light anymore. Okay, then we have Wanda Mothership. Okay, over here. This mothership has been watching this dying system for eons. Okay. Cool. Um... The purpose of this mothership is to understand and learn everything about our universe and this lonely system. But since everything in the universe is gone, it does not have any other purpose now. But the uh, Limo planet species will evacuate everyone on the planet and they will go to look for other races of species in the universe. Look down for more info. Okay. Turn on the studio mode to see the mothership. And by the way, you can speed up the simulation and watch the system uh, goes unstable. And the mothership trying to escape the dying system. Find an object named 870L Wanda. Okay, Voyager 1? Is Voyager 1 in here? No way. Voyager 1 has existed to the end of the universe. Fantastic. So there's the uh, spacecraft as well. Okay, Voyager 1. The spacecraft launched by humans is currently 5 million years old. Uh, I'm assuming he means probably 5 million. But this system is billions of years in the future. Now, this must, he must mean 5 billion at least if we're that, if we're that far in the future. That can't be... If this is at the end of the universe, 500 trillion, yeah, this must be, he must mean probably 5 or trillion at least. I mean, yeah, I'm assuming he may have made a little error there. It can't be 5 million if this is trillions of years in the future. <laughs> so, um, after a long time, Voyager 1 is now caught by the gravity of Wanda and is expected to crash into Lima's planet. Voyager 2 has crashed into Fondo. Note, humans are now very advanced. Okay, so humans are still kicking. Okay, cool. Nice. I like this. Actually having the human object still last this long. So where is... Okay, so there's that wonder object he was talking about. We just spotted that. So that's a rogue asteroid. Finds an object named 8600L Wonder. Cool. So there's that. So we do have a few other objects in the system as well, but I want to discover... So what is that comet-like trail there? Is that Voyager 1 there? What is that? Oh my god. Okay. There it is. Voyager 1, still kicking. Probably been dead for a long time, but it is still, what is left of it? Still going. Okay. Okay, so now we're heading out of this system itself. So we're taking a bit of a jump. So we've got this over here. Zeus is a brown dwarf that has been caught with the gravity of Wanda within 0.016 light year distance. Uh, now it's 0.36 light year distance because a star by the name of Fondo passed by the Wanda system, pulling the brown dwarf away from the system and making its orbit wider. It has some rough planets orbiting it. Okay, so Zeus, brown dwarf. Okay, so then lastly, we've got this object over here, Fondo. 
Okay, right. So a whole other system here. Fondo is an accidental star that has collided with other brown dwarfs. Fondo is an iron star because it has been burning iron instead of hydrogen. Iron stars can die faster than red dwarf stars. Know all the planets in the Fondo system. Explore all the planets. Um, okay, you can save any completely free to use. Thank you very much. That was good. I like that. So that's the reading done. So we'll check out the objects here as well, of course. So Fondo, as we can see, this is an iron star. So pretty cool. A little different than normal. Quite low surface temperature. First of the planets here this purple one okay let's go back to um back to realistic mode there we go that's that's looking better okay so we've got that one then we have got this one over here this yellow one so another little minor object here so zooming out are these all pretty oh yes okay so this one's at 13 degrees here so this is a fairly hatable looking world okay cool cool We've got this one over here, Goy II, Goy 2. You can really, uh, really seems like the game's bugged it a bit in the future versions, current version of the game. Goy 4, so we've got Goy 3, Goy 1. Yeah, okay. So 4, is there a number 5? We've got Exogenesis over here. That is a nice looking gas giant. Lots of bands there. It's a nice looking one. I like that. You know what? You said we can save. I like that. I'll take a copy of that. We also have this one over here. So Transcendence. Uh, cool. And it also, oh, Voyager 2! Voyager 2! There it is. So they've ended up in the same place. Okay. Oh, a bit buggy. All right. There we are. I believe that is... And I've got one more. The Lactus. I tell you what, I do like that as well. That's, that's a cool looking object. The nice hot red and orange and hot pink in there as well. That does look good. And there we are. So that's all of the planets around this star as well. So that is the uh, last sort of uh, stars in the universe. As we can see, no more, no background stars. That is literally it. So, or anything we can see anyway. So there we are. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, that does it for the system, guys. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system. So that was Faris Own in Discord for sending this system in. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And you can currently, at this moment in time, as of filming this on the 15th of January, the upload chat is currently open. It's probably going to be open from 24 to 48 hours. So if you would like to submit a system, make sure you do in the meantime before the chat closes again, because it probably will be closed for months after until I get through them all. So yeah, please keep that in mind. And yeah, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and also press that like button. It's if we can go for 40 likes on this video, guys. And yeah, with that all said and done, massive thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.